everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass and I'm a targeted individual. I'm here in Bushwick, Brooklyn, the part of Brooklyn where I live. And as you can see behind me, there is a long thing here where they're constructing more apartments. And over here, behind me again, was a beautiful church that's now going to be condominiums and of course as you can see next to it they're building something else that was a building an abandoned building when I first moved in here three years ago that area there was a row of three abandoned buildings and besides the uh, few homeless junkies there was a lot of cats uh, feral cats as you can also see right next to that uh, right there is another new building and if we look this way again, let me see if I can see it. Da, 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 da. There's a row of houses here, and in between the row right there, they're putting in another another building. Let's see if we can get across the street here. Oh. Now this is just one block, one block here in Bushwick. Um, the next street over that way is called Jefferson Street, and. Um, Patron and I lived in a couple of rented rooms on Jefferson Street. As you can see from here, let's see if we can see it from here. Somebody honking at me. Uh, how can I see it? I can't see it from here. Go ahead. Yeah, we can see it. It is right in between that building. Right there. That one is brand new. Uh, there's a lot. Uh, oh, wait, here's another one. Let's see, can we see it this way? It's kind of hard to see all that red brick, red brick. Oh, there it is, right over my shoulder. Another new building. So that's two on Jefferson. Uh, actually, there's three there. This lot here is going to go soon. This lot over here is already being built on. Then, if you look right here, this house, let me see if I can do it this way. Well, make sure we get a little closer. Yeah. This house, uh, right here with the Chinese guy standing in front of it. This house is new, also brand new. And um, where's the other one? There's another one they're working on here on the interior. I think it's, I think it's that one right there. And then, where is it? Oh, as you can see, everybody's fixing everything up. This, ah, here we go. Here's four in a row. I mean, we're talking about some serious real estate investment here. This house behind me, uh, with the brown and the yellow, right there, a little two-story nothing house, was uh, an abandoned building that had some homeless people living in it. I went in there, I got really, really sick. Really sick, that's a whole nother story. I think they were seeding the properties, the homeless properties with bacteriological or viral or you know some kind of serious infections. Anyway, this one right behind me, another four story, one, two, three, four, five story. Another five story, brand new from a lot. They ripped down what was there. Um, and then if we turn around again, on the other side, this one, the red one, is another two-story, brand new. And look, right next to it, they're building another one, two, three-story, four-story. Uh, in, in, in New York, they changed the, the tax laws, property tax laws, so that a three-story uh, building, which most people had at the time, uh, if you see these tenement buildings over here, from the early 20s or 40s. These are the kind of buildings we were living in on Jefferson. Um, anyway, they, they made a, a change the tax law so that, uh, um, and here we go again, so that a four-story building pays less property tax than a three-story building. Um, here, this one, right here behind me, 68 Troutman or whatever, there's another one, two, three, four-story uh, brick brownstone brand new just went in in the last six months this one over here uh, New York City Department of Buildings blah 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 that's a three-story one two three 
three story. Another three story building just went in, like in the last, you know, six months. Um, and that's it for Troutman Street. If I walk around the corner to Jefferson Street, there's uh, a warehouse that was torn down. They're putting in two buildings. There's another four or five buildings on that block alone where they ripped out what was there and they put in new stuff. Um, now, if we look here, the one behind me is getting fixed up. Uh, two or three of them over on this corner, uh, over here around the corner, have been bought up, ripped out, gutted, and, and replaced. Um, even the factory over there, I don't know if you can see it down the back there, uh, that was like vacant. Now it's got trucks lining up down the street. There's uh, new restaurants and stores and you know, stuff that, that nobody in this place used to care about, you know, like that we had thrift shops, yes, and they had old secondhand clothes from, from everybody, you know. Now they're putting in a new thrift shop that's like hundred dollar, you know, fancy designer. <laughs> like, I don't even know how they can pay their rent, let alone who's buying this. No, I have no idea how these places stay in business. All these little coffee shops are opening. Yeah, that's another thing. We didn't have a single coffee shop out here in Bushwick. And now they're starting to uh, show up like pimples on the ass of... Uh, anyway, never mind. Um, up here we have something really cool. It's called Baird Castle. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, it's one of these really fancy schmancy condo places. Oh wait, look! Here's another building going up. And if we look back there, we'll see yet another one. Where is it? Can we see it from here? Yeah, right over there. Another one going up. This is a four-story gutted, uh, gutting and replacing. No, no, that's brand new. They put, it was a lot there. Um, we tried to rent a place, a space in this place over here. Uh, the people were, were liars and they didn't really want us. <laughs> anyway, it was weird. They told us they owned the building. We looked it up. They didn't own it. Um, anyway, enough blather. This is just, you know, a short walk in Bushwick. And you can see that unlike Detroit, uh, real estate is hopping over here. And it's driven by the artists move in to the poor neighborhoods because the poor people are there and there's the violence and the drugs and the you know whatever it's stuff you find in the in the ghetto and then the artists move in because it's the only place they can afford to go and the landlords realize oh my goodness we're gonna what are they doing they're selling this place looks like they get this is missing its doors and everything so they're probably gonna sell it uh, they say, oh wow, white people, artists moving in, cool. Um, they're gonna raise the rent. And then the stores start moving in to fix, to pay, you know, to sell stuff to the artists. And, and then the landlords start fixing things up. And then the artists can't afford to live there anymore. And so they have to move out and find another poor place. And uh, those poor people get ejected and it's a cycle. And right now, Bushwick in Brooklyn, I mean, they're writing it up in all the papers. Oh, it's the place to be, the place that everybody wants to be. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. It's a freaking neighborhood. It's a part of Brooklyn that all the people who couldn't live in Manhattan, who have to work somewhere, live, you know? It's, it's, it's the happening place. It's the new Soho. It's the, it's a joke. It's, it's all just, you know, capitalism, real estate, and displacement of the poor. And sometimes I think they do it just because I moved here. When I was in Midtown, I watched this company called Related Companies come and buy up like a billion dollars worth of assets. My building, the building that my, my girlfriend's parents lived in, my ex-girlfriend, uh, several other buildings, you know, just, it's unheard of in New York. And I found from some real estate agents that this related companies was buying up everything they could get in the city. 
Maybe that's the hybrid uh, breakaway Nazis, I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's my humble, crazy opinion, and I'm sticking to it. Um, God bless you. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are faring better than we are. At least I'm in a good mood, right? Take care.